Hi, welcome back. Um, I am very excited because I've got a delivery in the mail from my favorite store in the world, Hello Vintage, in Oakland, California. Um, it took a while to get here because I am not in Oakland, California, but uh, I know half of what's in here, but Carolyn also said that she might have put something else in, so I wanted to video that and share. Um, Charlie is here too, to Hi. respond. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna open this up and then... So exciting! We're gonna, well, film a video about it. <laughs> Even the packaging is exciting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now this I knew yes. was gonna be in there. That is very, very 70s, I think. 60s. I think gonna be a smidge too big for me but uh, we can take care of that. I think I can fix that too. And then this is the other thing that I knew. Oh my god! Ooh. <laughs> so jelly. It's a replica of um, one of Elvis's rings. Yeah. Matthew, thank you so much for your purpose. purchase. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it and the little historical surprise. I love your creativity and I'm so happy we are YouTube friends. Keep being amazing from Carolyn. That is so nice. And she's given me a little pin. I'll put it on my shirt, my Eleanor t-shirt. Gold. With my Hello nice. Vintage pin. Now that's a combo that I like. I have no idea what this is. So it's come in a little... I'm so excited to wear this. I don't even know what it is, but I'm so excited about it. Is that where it goes? I think so. Put that through. Look at that. I think what I'm going to do today is turn this into my size. Because I think it's extra large. This is going to look amazing. Thank you, Carolyn. Everyone, please go follow at Hello Vintage Lovers on YouTube and Instagram. Carolyn puts up the coolest stuff, and she's always having these sales on historical and vintage clothing. Uh, I can't recommend her enough. Thank you, Carolyn. This is so warm already. And I will see you upstairs editing this. So yeah, while I do this, um, Charlie, I made him this shirt yesterday, but I misjudged the length of the arms, so he's going to turn it into a vest instead, which works for me because I don't have to do any more work on it. So while I was in Hard Rubbish, I found this young man, and he has almost exactly the same measurements as my body, so I thought that he would be a very big help when pinning this. I got the zip on stuck, Carolyn. You're proud of me? <laughs> right, so just pop it on inside out. Well, the way I do it, I created my own pattern um, for doing uh, sizing on the backs of these clothes. I sort of do one down the center, and then I do a few curving in like that. It ends up being this really quite beautiful pattern that also ends up fitting nicely. I'm just gonna get my pins and get to pinning. is done. So I've been sewing with these quite a lot lately um, on my machine and if you are too trying to get rid of all that old thread that you've got, here's a little hack. If they're on these little tubey ones, you can actually push them so it's sitting flat at one end and the tube is all the way up there and then it's not going to go crazy on your machine. Not going to go crazy on your machine.
Okay. Okay. Thank you. Well, that was way easier than I even thought it was going to be. Thanks again, uh, Caroline, for sending me all of this lovely stuff. Her videos are so soothing and calming. And if you like Marie Kondo, she sorts through a lot of piles. So that's good news. Yeah, so this is my really super easy tailoring method that I used on like my work uniform and jackets that almost fit me but didn't. It takes no time at all and it I think it looks nice when it's finished. So hopefully you learned something. Oh my gosh, I actually did something instructional. And um, that's it, that's the video. No reveal needed, you just got it. So thanks a lot and keep your eyes peeled because something tells me I haven't seen the last of Hello Vintage yet. Alright, see you guys.